Hey, what's up, Bulldogs? I'm Tyler. And I'm Lila. And, and we're, we're back, back with, with your weekly, weekly school, school news. news. I don't know about you, but I'm ready for summer. I am. So real, so real. And now we're going to move on to our next segment. Hey, Bulldogs. This is your entertainment news with Dylan Rodriguez. Let's get right into it. Did you hear about the new Mario movie? Well, if you played the games as a kid, you probably want to go check this movie out. We heard it's really good with a 7.5 out of 10 star rating from IMDb featuring popular actors such as Chris Pratt, Jack Black. So make sure to go check it out at your local theaters. Next, we have our very own concert coming up. The Band Pop Concert on April 27th. If you like band or pop music, now you have the best of both worlds. Be sure to go check it out and support your local Bulldogs. Did you see that Drake dropped a new song? It's called Search and Rescue and has been in lots of hype. If you like Drake or hip hop music, be sure to go listen to it and let us know what you think. Maybe it'll even be played at our next upcoming prom. Finally, we have the D-Task coming up on April 22nd. What is D-Task you ask? It stands for the Drama Teachers Association of SoCal with their next event featuring the All Divisions Combined Shakespeare Festival. This event showcases our very own Bulldogs and puts them to to the test. If you like their performances, then this is the show for you. Now back to our anchors. Can't you see that I'm the one who understands you? Been here all along, so why can't you see you along with me? Now we're on to the next segment. Hey, welcome, welcome back, Bulldogs, Bulldogs, to your student health news. I'm Ark. And I'm Josh. Seniors, the year is almost over for you. Your last day of school is only a month away on May 16th. Senior awards are on the 15th, just the day before. Your graduation is on May 23rd at Glen Helen Amphitheater. Hi, I'm Josh, and I'm here with... Matthew. And what grade are you in? Uh, I'm a senior. How do you feel about graduating high school soon? Uh, I feel excited about graduating and also nervous. Do you think you'll miss high school after you're done? Uh, when I graduate, I feel I wouldn't miss it, but I'll look back at it and uh, see what it took me to like get to the place where I'm at now. What are your plans after graduation? Uh, when I graduate, I want to become a tattoo artist and uh, tattoo at a shop, I guess. Okay, thank you for your time. Hi, I'm Josh, and I'm here with... Cal. And what grade are you in? 12th grade. How do you feel about graduating high school soon? excited I'm done with school <laughs> do you think you'll miss high school after graduation um, I think I'll miss certain aspects of it definitely gonna miss a lot of the teachers and definitely miss hanging out with my friends a lot more but I don't think I'm gonna miss much of like the schoolwork and stuff like that yeah of course um, what are your plans after high school um, I'm gonna go to VBC and then become a forensic investigator that's cool thank you for your time you're welcome time really does fly by in high school you senior Bulldogs will be missed and that's all we have for you today, Bulldogs. We'll see, we'll see you, you later, later and, and take care. I'm going to miss my senior friends. Yeah, me too. What's up, Bulldogs? I'm Jasper, and here are some prom interviews. What did you wear to prom, and how was it? I wore a emerald green dress. That's cool. Are you excited for grad night? Yeah, I'm excited. Okay, okay, that's cool, that's cool. You ready, you ready to graduate? Yeah. Melanie, um, what did you wear to prom? I wore a pink sparkly dress. That's cute. And are you going to go to a grad night? I am. Are you excited? Yes. Don't forget that grad night is coming up. It is on May 12th, and our check-in time will be at 545, and our departure time will be at 7, 7 p.m. We will approximately get there at 9 p.m. and be leaving at 2 a.m. Hopefully, we get back around 4 to 6 a.m. Also, don't forget to get your kooky nut necklaces here at the student store for only $20 for our senior graduating class. Lastly, yearbooks. Yearbooks help us remember memories all throughout high school and people we've came across throughout the years. Don't forget to get your yearbook at the student store or you can go online at yearbook.forever.com. And now we're on to sports news. Hi, welcome to Caden's Crust Corner, and I'm here to ask you the existential question, who is up crust in that corner? 
Anyway, for our first episode, we're featuring the Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania poster. Do I even need to come up with a segment? Look at this! Look at this! MODOK is supposed to be like this super threatening being capable of... I don't even know what, I don't read DC Comics, but... <laughs> but that's not the way to go around it. I swear to God! Well, this has been Caden's Cross Corner. What's up, Bulldogs? I'm Anthony, and welcome to the weather segment. With spring beginning, warm weather is starting to drift in. For the whole week, it will be sunny and a little bit windy, with the highest being 71 degrees. So if you intend on wearing a sweater, bring a hoodie instead, or do whatever. But there will be clouds expected on Thursday and Friday, so don't expect to see much of the sun when you look up. Anyways, here's our interview. My name is Ivor Zoss, and I'm here with Ark. Ark, Ark Angel. And we're going to talk about the weather. So, Ark, how do you feel about the weather changing recently? I gotta say, I think I like the heat better, because when it's cold, people just, it's just too much, bro. I don't like the wind, wind be getting messy, and I prefer the heat. I feel, I feel, I feel the exact same way. Exactly, bro. Yeah. When do you think the cold weather is going to cut off completely and heat is just going to overtake the cold? So, the cold cutting off completely, I think, i say I gave it about, like, a month tops, like, if not, just a couple more weeks. But, yeah, soon, this cold weather is going to be gone, and... I don't know, bring the shorts and tank tops out. It's, it's beach time. That was an interview, if you couldn't tell. And also, be cautious of this information, because it could change over the week due to weather being unpredictable. So, now on to the next segment. Alright, Chick-fil-A or Raisin Cane's? Raisin Cane's. Chick-fil-A. Why? Uh, it's good because their food is juicy and good. Okay, Canes or Chick-fil-A? Um, I have to say none of them, but I'd rather go with In-N-Out. Okay, and why? I just like the food and and the aesthetic, how it is. Very old school. All right, Chick-fil-A or Raisin Canes? Raisin Canes. Why? Because, honestly, I just like the sauce. Um, I'm kind of hungry now. Yeah, me too. Let's go get Canes. Chick-fil-A. No. Kings. We're going to Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A sauce is fake and overrated. It's so much better than Kings. You suck. But we're going to Chick-fil-A. We're not going to Chick-fil-A. I don't care what you're saying. Oh, wait, 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 w